Hi, my name is Megan and I'm an accredited practicing dietitian. We provide industry leading nutrition and dietetic services and support Australians with the ingredients to eat well with nutrition. Today I'm going to be discussing the dietary management of diabetes in the elderly population. Diabetes is a chronic disease characterised by high blood glucose levels. It can occur due to the body not producing insulin, which is type 1 diabetes, or insulin not working effectively in the body, which is type 2 diabetes and the most common form found in, amongst the elderly. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas and transfers glucose from the bloodstream into the body's cells. Without it, blood glucose levels can become high. Glucose is a sugar it's found in many different foods, including carbohydrate foods. So nutrition is a really important factor for maintaining good diabetic control. When considering diet and diabetes, most people naturally think that we should cut out sugars completely. Yet actually, this isn't the case, and we now know that moderate amounts are safe. In elderly diabetics, the key is for total adequate nutrition. So including sufficient protein, energy, micronutrients would be the priority. So most hospital menus and standard aged care menus are appropriate, but in, dietitians can provide individual advice. When aiming to keep blood glucose levels, the emphasis should be on selecting a variety of nutritious foods and incorporating a small regular amount of carbohydrates throughout the day. The type of carbohydrate is also really important. So glycemic index or GI is a system that is used to measure how quickly or slowly the glucose is digested into the bloodstream during carbohydrate metabolism and digestion. Lower GI foods are recommended to help keep blood glucose levels more stable. So we have some different examples here of the lower GI foods that you can incorporate at your meals. For example, we have different grains such as oats, bran, you can do whole grain breads, um, rices such as basmati rice or pasta is another good grain. Different legumes and pulses are all lower GI, our starchy vegetables such as sweet potato, and a number of fruits are low GI such as pears, apples, and oranges. Sugar doesn't need to be completely restricted. A moderate amount is safe and won't affect blood glucose levels negatively. So what isn't actually an acceptable portion? So we could add a spoonful of sugar into your tea or coffee, some jam or honey onto your slice of toast. You could choose dairy or fruit-based desserts such as yogurt or custard, or having a flavoured drink such as a Milo or a low-fat flavoured milk. Lastly, when assisting individuals with the management of their diabetes, individual circumstances and quality of life are extremely important. Every situation is different. Thank you for viewing this educational video. We welcome the opportunity to speak to you directly or provide an in-house demonstration. Please refer to our website for further details.